वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अ फ्यू इयर्स ए गो वाइल आई वॉज सिटिंग इन द ऑफिस ऑफ ए न्यूज पेपर रिपोर्टर अ डॉक्टर एंड हिज फ्रेंड हैपन टू कम देयर द डॉक्टर वॉज जे बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट टू हैंड ओवर अ रिपोर्ट टू बी पब्लिश इन ए कन्ना न्यूज पेपर वाइल हैंडिंग ओवर द रिपोर्ट द डॉक्टर अपोलजाइज for his inability to write the report in kannada though it was supposed to be published in a kannada newspaper he said sir i have written that in english because my english is very good i couldn't do it in kannada because i'm very bad at kannada but now the newspaper reporter was in a fix because his english was not that good for him it was very difficult to translate the report into kannada and publish it so he asked the doctor whether his friend could translate that into kannada but came the doctor's reply the doctor said sir no i can't ask him to translate that into Canada because he can't understand English. He don't know English. He can't read what I have written. I was too stunned to react hearing these remarks. A doctor who was bragging all along about his knowledge of English was heard saying he don't know, which is absurd in the English language. In English, you can't say. he don't know that is grammatically wrong but you know the doctor made this mistake because in our languages we use the same verb along with all the subjects for example in kannada we say nanage gottilla i don't know namage gottilla we don't know nimage gottilla you don't know ninage gottilla you don't know avaneye gottilla he doesn't know she doesn't know avaliye gottilla they don't know avriye gottilla in malayalam one would say enikariyilla i don't know nammal kariyilla we don't know ningal kariyilla you don't know ninakariyilla you don't know avanariyilla he doesn't know avalkariyilla she doesn't know avarkariyilla plural they don't know so it is a same verb which goes with all the subjects in in our languages it happens in kannada it happens in malayalam as well but in english that is different so you should understand that do is a plural verb that goes with just plural subjects and does goes with singular subjects so remember do goes with plural does goes with singular so we'll look at all the subjects now i will begin with the first person i nanu nan first person i even though it is singular since it comes in the first person that is treated as a plural subject so we should use a plural verb with that for example i do i don't i do positive i don't negative we plural obviously a plural verb is needed we do we don't so i know english perfectly fine i don't know english negative i do know english i do not know english we do know english we do not know english plural both are plural so i know english negative i 
don't know English. The same do is used in the negative sentence. I know, I do not know. We know, we do not know. Plural. Come down to the second person. You do not know. In English, you is always considered as a plural subject. So you need a plural verb. See, in English, you don't have a word for nu or ni. It is always niwu or ningal. See, in our languages, like in Kannada and Malayalam, we have got two subjects in the second person. One is ninu, second is niwu. In Malayalam, ni, ningal. But in English, you have got just one subject in the second person, that is you, which is plural. So we say, you know, negative, you do not know. Now come down to the third person. He is singular. She is singular. It is singular. When you begin a sentence with a he, you need to make use of a singular verb. Singular verb means a verb which has got S with it. So we should say he does. I do plural. We do plural. You do plural. But he does. Does is singular. That's why we say he does not know. It is wrong to say he don't know. The sentence should be he doesn't know. He do not know is wrong. Because he is singular, do is plural. The correct sentence is, he does not know English. She does not know English. It does not know English. If the subject is plural in the third person, you should use do. They, plural, do not know English. Let us begin from the first person now. I do not know English. We do not know English. You do not know English. He does not know English. She does not know English. It does not know English. They do not know English. So what do you understand from this? You understand that the subjects like he, she and it need singular verbs. For example, he goes, he does not go. He knows, he does not know. She knows, she does not know. It knows, it does not know. If it is plural, without yes. I know, I do not know. We know, we do not know. You know, you do not know. They know, they do not know. So, I don't know, we don't know, you don't know, but he doesn't know, she doesn't know, it doesn't know, and they don't know. So, hereafter, remember not to say he don't know English. If you tell someone he don't know English, then they will tell you you don't know English. Thank you so much. I'll come back with another topic.